Greg here at Suspension Supplies Australia. In one of our earlier videos, we told you about the Polyair range of Red Series bags. Polyair also produce a load assist airbag for use with leaf springs. It is known as the Polyair Bellows, spring or airbag. They are of heavy duty rubber construction with steel brackets and are engineered to help carry significant loads, right up to manufacturer recommended gross vehicle mass or weight rating. Again, perfect for use in load-on, load-off situations like towing a caravan or boat. But before we recommend you fix all your load-carrying requirements with a set of these Bellows airbags, we ask that you consider a couple of things. We at SSA believe that most modern-day vehicles, including four-wheel drives, are not engineered to use the Bellows airbag method as a primary load carrier, with many pointing to the Bellows bag as the cause of chassis damage when in fact it is often misuse that is the major contributor. Consider that the vehicle is designed to carry the rear load at two points of the chassis. These are at the front fixed pin mount of the spring and at the rear swinging shackle end of the spring. It therefore stands to reason that if loads are significant, consideration should be given to strengthening the leaf spring first and used in conjunction with any bellows airbag support. Once we have strengthened the leaf spring to suit the load, we can then choose the appropriate bellows airbag to provide load assist or vehicle levelling. First let us consider the vehicle's suspension design, which we see here is suffering under the load it's carrying. Then the customer's use of the vehicle and the load carrying requirements of towing a caravan and touring. Then let us consider the frequency and variation of these loads. Only then can we determine a design for the leaf spring so the bellows airbag can do its job best. Now. Watch here as we go through the fitment of a Polyair Bellows airbag system to suit this customer's vehicle. First it's up on the hoist and wheels off. Then, with the diff supported, we remove the U-bolts, discard the rubber bump stop as it will not be needed, the airbag has its own internal bump mechanism. Then remove the rear shackles and front pins and out with the leaf springs. Our first step is to strengthen the leaf spring. We have chosen to add a 10mm wrap leaf to the pack, which is then an extra leaf. New spring clips had to be made to suit the increased pack thickness. Now, trim the U-bolt top locator plate to make it easier to tighten the U-bolts when the airbag is installed. While the leaf spring is still out of the vehicle, drill the holes in the chassis for the airbag top mount plate. Tap the threads using a cutting compound as a lubricant. Time to reinstall our strengthened leaf spring and get our airbag ready to install by screwing in the top inflation point, following the product installation instructions carefully so the fitting is not screwed in too far. Pre-assemble the top mount plate to the bag as well and fit the airline to the elbow fitting ready to mount the airbag. Lock tight the top plate bolts and mount the airbag to the chassis. Mount the base of the airbag to the spring mount plate using the longer U-bolts which are now necessary because we have made the spring pack thicker with the addition of the extra leaf. Fit protective tubing along critical areas of the airline to provide additional protection where needed. Run the airline along the top of the chassis as far as is practical and secure the airline with zip ties. Leave the airline with excess length at the rear ready to trim to the correct length for our mounting bracket. Find an appropriate mounting point for our inflation valve bracket and secure, ready to hook up our airline valves. Prepare the valve end of the airline and secure in position on the mounting bracket. And ready for action. When not carrying a load, you should ensure some air pressure, approximately 10 psi, should be retained in the airbag to ensure the airbag does not pinch or chafe in the non-inflated position. Follow the supplied airbag instructions to inflate the recommended pressure for the load you are carrying. The job is now completed and with the strengthened springs doing their job and the minimum of air pressure in our Bellows airbags, we can see the vehicle is now ready to tow that caravan and the gear that is stored in the canopy. As you can see from the before and after photos, there has been a slight lift in the rear suspension of 25mm from the vehicle's previously sagged position. The height of the rear suspension can of course be adjusted as the load comes on simply by adding more air pressure. More pressure can be added to either side airbag as we have separate airlines and valves to the left and the right air bellows bags, which means any additional fuel, water, gear, equipment or any other contributors to your load can be accommodated and you will sit level and stable on the ground. 
Onboard adjustment controls are also available if you prefer in-cabin adjustment and monitoring of your airbag pressure. Now you can enjoy your ride knowing that your suspension will take you where you want to go, safely and in comfort. I hope you now know a little more about Air Bellows suspensions and that there can be a range of solutions to your specific suspension needs. Give us a call or drop in if you can and let us give you the advice you need to be safe and comfortable on the road. Bye for now.